Uhu. <laughs> Hi. Hola. So, I've been thinking about the idea that's often sold to us, especially in the whole self-improvement realm, spiritual realm sometimes, and also I think when it comes to certain therapies, the idea that we are kind of broken <laughs> can very easily slip in there, or the idea that we need to be fixed. Well, the, the medical system obviously has that too. But I, I, uh, when you believe you're broken and you need to be fixed, it's very easy to get hung up on the, um, how shall I call this? I'm looking for the English word. You know, down the, into the rabbit hole, let's put it that way, into the self-improvement rabbit hole circus and you'll never ever appear again. So the funny thing is, I mean, there is obviously something really, as it usually is, it's, it's not um, either this or that, it's, it's, it's both often. So there are a lot of beautiful, helpful tools and things in that realm. I, for example, at the moment, am finding Christy Neff, who's uh, researching self-compassion and all her tools she's offering um, on her website for free as well. A lot of meditations, incredibly helpful because it's in a sense, the antidote, the antidote to feeling broken and that there's something inherently wrong with us is actually self-compassion versus tr trying to keep on fixing ourselves. Self-compassion sounds like a very lovely, duffly thing, but it sometimes isn't that easy because it means we first have to face up to our pain to then give that pain some self-compassion versus what, for example, I kind of have been exposed to a lot is being analyzed and then analyzing yourself all of the time for what's wrong with you and what needs to be fixed. And that can end up in an endless uh, rumination cycle, to be honest, that's not very helpful. And it also keeps at least me, but I think that's for everyone, it keeps us so much stuck up here in the head. And also it's, it's very much related to the feeling of shame, that, that belief that there's something that's inherently wrong with us. Obviously there are some people, I mean, companies and whatnot that really benefit from people being stuck in that shame loop and constantly trying to fix themselves uh, because they feel they are broken. And my God, it's so easy to fall into that trap. I, I definitely think it takes a lot of retraining to keep on telling yourself that you're not broken, that it's normal to have all sorts of emotions and that wherever you are at, right now, right here is totally fine. And to kind of more exercise acceptance where we are, I think I said that in another video, I think in the last one, acceptance where we are while also having the intention to improve certain areas in our lives. But that trying to push ourselves too much, trying to fix ourselves from this idea of that we are broken, kind of, in my experience, adds on to the whole thing we, we maybe want to let go of. And so it takes a lot of discernment when we look for things that might help us 
to see is this even with therapies i mean when it comes to therapies i really love ifs which is uh, internal family systems by dick schwartz uh, the idea that we have different parts we kind of that are protecting us trying to keep us safe that are often very very young and we kind of you know can uh, communicate with them and 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 change them so that they run our life don't run our lives so much without getting rid of them and so i think it really takes a lot of discernment is this something that kind of is a fixing approach coming from the idea that you're broken or is this something that ultimately is about accepting who you are and, and and coming more well I guess home to yourself yes or being who you are yep so let me know what do you think about this I personally believe that we've all been there that idea that we need to be fixed and that we are broken but that is to be thrown out <laughs> out of the window right now yeah so that was my idea on this one join me on the journey from hiding to thriving as an artist and creative entrepreneur this is Anya have a good evening or rest of the day take good care bye bye